absolutely beautiful morning this morning. We've had, it feels like weeks of rain and really chilly weather, and it hasn't really been conducive to being kind of terribly productive or kind of wanting to be outside. Um, but today the sun is shining and it's absolutely glorious. Also down here, we've got a whole bunch of bulbs popping out. We've got daffodils flowering. We've got tulips coming up and all the little things that John's been tucking away into the garden over the year are all starting to sprout and it just looks so beautiful. Like I said in a previous episode, we've created the space and the way we think of these spaces and how we move around is that they are inspiring, you know, and they make you feel like, oh, I wanna go get the day. But anyway, that's how I feel today. So it's been a while since I've been down here. Um, lots of different reasons. Partly I was just feeling a bit overwhelmed by it. Partly there's memories of Fifi here that make me a bit sad, but um, I really am keen to crack on. And today I'm hoping that I can get this front wall at least finished. I've collected stones from all over the farm um, and this is bit's gonna be my priority um, because it's the bit that we can kind of see from the rest of the house. So I wanna make sure that it's looking beautiful, but we'll see how it takes shape. You know, it's kind of, I'm learning a lot and it's a big work in progress. Um, but the first thing I've got to do is take my wheelbarrow back up and go and mix some cement and then bring it down here and crack on with building. What a day for it, folks. What a day. done kind of I suppose it's just less than half of a wheelbarrow because that's about all I can manage to wheel down whoops see it's a good thing just less than half a wheelbarrow is plenty Before I get really stuck into the build, I wanted to touch on something which John and I are going to elaborate on a little bit later because we got plans this afternoon to take ourselves for a cold water swim. But well-being and mental wellness, I mean that we've been really focusing on the last few months. And a huge part of that for me is today's sponsor. Aura is the new all-in-one mental wellness and sleep app that brings together the world's largest content library for mental well-being. Towards the end of last year, anxiety started creeping into various aspects of life for me and I really wanted to try and keep on top of it before it takes hold. We have got the most beautiful life here, but even with a seemingly perfect setup for a happy life, stress can creep its way in and it can really affect your mental well-being and Aura really helps me to stay on top of that and to keep my anxiety in check and I love diving into all of the different aspects of it like the sleep assistance, discovering breath work, hypnosis, there's even prayer for spirituality and a whole heap of learning and life coaching topics that you can dive into and learn about. Honestly, I absolutely love it. And I would be so delighted if you would take care of your mental well-being by using Aura. And I challenge you all to maybe take up something like a 30 day mindfulness challenge. Aura is the perfect place to do that. And the first 500 people to use my unique link in the description below will get a free trial and 25% off your subscription if you decide to carry on after the seven days. Right, well, now it's time to go and challenge myself, build an outdoor kitchen, and later, go and put myself in some cold water. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just a bit of kind of dry stacking, if you will, so that I can figure out what rocks I've got that are going to work for this next layer. I've got a couple of challenges I've got to face today. One is trying to hide this rebar and making sure that it's not visible from the outside. I've got a whole load of really little pieces of rock, which might work to kind of cover it in amongst some cement, but I'm not convinced that that's the best approach. Um, but what I'd really like, which would feel like success at the end of today, would be to get this wall kind of hip height at the front here, and maybe even around that corner if I've got enough stone. I have a real, um, like a real fear of failure with this project. And I suppose there's another lesson for me is just, you know, it's okay that I don't have all the answers. The whole point of it is to figure it out and learn as we go. And if I make mistakes, well, that's also part of the process, isn't it? There's lots of learning in that. Right, anyway, let's get stacking, see where we get to. That rebar is a real challenge. And actually, I've just been reminded that loads of you pointed out that this is blinking dangerous. So let me get something to put on top of it. No! Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, this is hard. I think if I can get it in there to stay, it'll set fine. So these are the stones I got off the hill yesterday and some of them are a bit kind of still covered in mud so I'm just going to go and grab a bucket of water so that I can give them a bit of a, a wash to get some of the residue off because I don't think it's good that the cement sits to the residue right and it would be better if they were a little bit damp and then clean I think it would work better but we've got some really big ones here um, and some lots and lots and lots of those little ones, which I don't think are very good for building, but they might be good for just decorating the outside.
I can really feel this space becoming such a place of contemplation for me and such a space of learning and lessons. I've been really putting off coming down here. And I guess I just kind of was trying to make up excuses not to have to come down here, which is, I don't know, it's not okay, you know. But you come down and you start again and you realize you can do it. Last time I was down here, I felt really kind of, I don't know why, but really pressured by the time I had um, to get the cement in place. Whereas today, which is why I was using my hands a lot and shoving cement into gaps and stuff. My hands got really dry and unhappy. So whereas today I'm really trying to take it much slower and just take the time. If it takes a bit longer, that's okay. I'm just trying to kind of be really mindful with the lessons as I go. I'm sure lots of you can relate and I really wanted to share very openly and honestly how this process goes for me because I knew it was going to be a real challenge. What else I've learned is I make a really strange face when I'm working. So that's fun to edit. <laughs> Right, before I lose it, I'm gonna put this one here because it is so perfect. This was like it was made for that spot. I'm gonna put a whole whack of cement in there and hold that up with a stick. And I think it's gonna do the job of hiding the rebar. And then that corner is actually coming out quite nicely. I'm pleased with that. I wanted to get the corners done so that I could start seeing it kind of in its entirety. Okay. Bit of an experiment, that one. Let's see if it works. Quite literally, hear you all shouting at me about the state of my rebar, because my solution did not work. So I'll go and get some of the boys' plastic cups, I think. Just taking a step back to have a look at it before I go, and I'm so pleased with that. It's looking so much better. So if we now, you know, start balancing out these corner bits, so this bit needs a bit more work here, it starts to look, like, really cool. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm going to carry on with these stones and then I think around the front the plan is maybe to hang on the plan is maybe to continue John's flower border around like this to the bottom there and then we can kind of have the flower border my plants hanging out the plants at the top and right at the back there the pizza oven cool okay I'm back fed and watered and also bearing things of wood plugs of wood to go on top of my rebar so we can all stop worrying about my eyes um, which I think is wise. So let me get those in place. Mom, there's a beautiful butterfly. There's a brown one. Is it? I like brown ones, Mom. Okay. <laughs> They're so beautiful. So beautiful, eh? And we're lucky to have butterflies everywhere. And where am I staying too? I don't know, big boy. Mom's building my pizza oven.
Right, so I'm really pleased with how this has gone this morning. It's really starting to take shape and I think hopefully you're all getting more of an idea of the vision I have for it because I know a lot of people have been asking for some kind of drawing or some idea of what I've got in mind because I think the messiness of what I left before was quite hard to imagine what I'm trying to achieve. So I think it's now starting to look a bit better. What I think I've got to do now is pause because a lot of the cement is still wet and a lot of these stones are quite big and I'm a little bit concerned they're not going to set properly. So um, I want to make sure that the strength of it is solid before I carry on. And I obviously don't want to jeopardize any of the setting by setting more stones on top of them. So it's a good time to pause, it's lunchtime. Um, go and just take a minute to step away, have a think about it, and then come back and see how it's all setting. Oh man, this day has just got more and more beautiful and it's the perfect day for us to do what we have been meaning to do for a few weeks now and that is to go down and have a swim in our local river. If you've been here a while, you'll know that about 10 minutes walk from us, just at the bottom of the hill behind me, is our local river. It's one of the most beautifully crystal clear rivers around in this area um, and we're so lucky to have it right nearby. But we're actually going to take the bikes out and we're going to go and have a quick swim. Um, and take you guys along for the ride, show you a bit more of what the area around us looks like because we're super lucky to live here and it is so pretty, especially on days like today. And as the spring is springing around us, it just feels like, I don't know, there's this like new energy, you know, you feel inspired to do things and challenge yourself and get out there. And um, cold water swimming has got so many proven health benefits and it's something that we want to incorporate a lot more into our life. So we've got the perfect place to do it. We have no excuse and so, we're on our way. Because we've come on the bikes and haven't walked, we decided to come a bit further from home. And this is a local beauty spot, I suppose you call it. She says it's local, but I'm absolutely knackered. Um, and a historic Roman bridge. It's really, really beautiful. And during the summer, this is a really popular river beach. And it is lovely. The water is a lot higher than it normally is. And when we come in the summer with the boys, it's a lot shallower in the summer. Um, and the boys can kind of run along the shallow waters and have an absolute ball. So. Let's see if we can find a place that's not going to get us swept away to get into the water. God, isn't it magical? The colour of this river is quite special. Now, if that doesn't look inviting, I don't know what I would. I think we'll be okay here. It's not running too quickly. It is running, um, but uh, I think that'll be okay. But normally, it's a little beach right there. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's like all that sand there is normally out. Yeah. The, other, the other thing is the place that we normally swim which is closer to home and um, that's got lots of little coves and like shallow areas mm. and places that's easier to, to be but here i mean as long as we don't go too far i think we'll be just fine and let's be honest we're not going for a swim swim are yeah. we we're just going to go <laughs> dip in um, i think down here looks good as well doesn't it yeah down where down here yeah let's go That is pretty fast flowing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's too fast, thank you. Again, in the summer, you can walk down here and there's like a little beach at the back there yeah. by that blue plastic. That blue plastic is covering over old building. Yeah, old stone ruin. Right. Let's do it. So the way I first challenged myself to do cold water immersion, it wasn't really immersion, but to do like cold water exposure, was to just turn the shower onto cold water 
for like the last 15 to 30 seconds to start and then I built up the time I was under it for. I did it for a month and I honestly loved it. I like look forward to it. They say that if you do that before you go to bed, you'll sleep better. Um, and it's meant to be super good for your immune system, your circulation, your mental health. Everything about cold water immersion just tells you that you should be doing more of it. So, all right, in you get. Let's do it. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, am I going in first? Yeah. That's surely not the rules. Are we going to go together then? On a scale of one to four, how are we talking? Yeah, not too bad at the moment. Okay, and the water isn't running as fast as I was thinking it is. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's chilly. <laughs> <laughs> my legs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, moment of truth. Oh. Oh. Are you good? You ready? One, Are you steady? Two, three. Go. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> three. Oh. It's the legs, isn't it? <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> okay, let's get done. Oh. So I've been having real problems and struggles with hay fever recently. The pine needles and the pine pollen coming down from the trees on the farm is hectic. This will clear the sinuses. Gosh. All right. Did I ruin it? What do you mean? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh. oh, shit, that's cold. I want to get back in now. Hang on. All right. Oh, you see, now that you've got out, you start to feel all the kind of like the stuff is fizzing, isn't it? It is. My body's fizzing, it feels great. I'm going back in. Oh. Oh. I can't get back in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you count me down? Ten okay. Seconds under, okay. Okay, ten seconds. Okay. All right. One, no. two, <laughs> three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining my zen. <laughs> there you go, folks. If you think you're doing it, that's your sign. Sorry, I didn't make it look more pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But, well, anyway. Now you feel like a million bucks. Yes, that feels good. All right, okay. Roll on summer, I say. Yeah, we've got a farm work to get back to do. Got an extension to build. And we've got to talk to you guys right now a little bit about what's going to happen in next episode and why we are going to extraordinary lengths to make sure that we feel happy and healthy and good. Let me get changed first. Oh gosh, okay, we're out. That is like tingly tingly. It feels so worth it when you come out. Like I mentioned earlier, I have been struggling with anxiety a bit. It kind of rears its ugly head every now and then. And that has just lifted a weight from this morning that I really needed. We've got to remember it, you know, like we've got all these tools at our fingertips and we've really got to remember to make the effort to come and use them because I don't know, we don't do it often enough. Especially when life gets really busy. Um, you know, our YouTube project is a full-time job for us and it keeps us super busy and sometimes it does get stressful. But we've got really good at managing that now. We have. Um, but you know, we've had a few things going on in the last couple of weeks. We lost our chickens, which anyway, um, still really, really stabs in the heart and we are missing them terribly. But. We've also had some news about our application to build, which we'll tell you more about in the next episode because we haven't got all the details just yet, but... So we, we've got a text message. I know that there's a letter that's going to be following fairly shortly. Uh, we want to wait and read the letter, get a little bit more detail before we share that with you. But um, in short, for now anyway, um, the text message was not positive. Um, so we are waiting for that letter and 
by the time we make the next episode, we'll have all the information we'll be able to fill you in. Exactly. So yeah. stay tuned, I guess. We'll tell you more when we know more. But yeah. um, just please keep all your fingers crossed for us. Man because... life, anybody? Yeah. <laughs> what could possibly be on the horizon for us if this doesn't work out? It will work out. Of course it will. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Folks, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's something a little bit different. Um, I am super stoked with how my kitchen's turning out. Um, and hold us to this, will you? Will you hold us to coming and doing cold water swimming more often? Because we're so lucky. Imagine, imagine having this river on your doorstep. We are fortunate. Yeah. It would be preposterous not to use it more. So. Yeah. Don't forget that link in our description for the Aura download. I'm going to be putting myself on a 30 day mindfulness challenge. We, maybe we do a 30 day kind of cold water swim thing. Maybe some of them in the shower because this can't always get done here, time yeah. allowing. Um, but I hope you guys will join me. So click on the link or scan the QR code. Remember to like, please subscribe if you haven't already. And just thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all of the support over the last couple of weeks with the chickens and everything that's been going on. It means the absolute world to us. And you guys are the very best community out there. I'm absolutely certain of it. Yeah. The kindness and love is just unparalleled. 100%. And whatever happens, whatever happens, for sure, 100%, it's going to be ace. And we're going to think big. Be brave. And explore. Love it. <laughs> All right, folks. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.